Welcome to a short overview of the analytic capabilities offered by IBM Rational System Architect. My name is Jana Papadakis Kantos and I will introduce you to the topic of analytics by first going over some key concepts and then demonstrating them via a short and simple case study. IBM Rational System Architect offers lots of ways to analyze the enterprise architecture model from reports to color-coded matrices to explorer diagrams to analytics just to mention a few. Here we will get a short overview of the, of the analytic capabilities of Rational System Architect. Rational System Architect Analytics allow you to analyze the information in the Rational System Architect Encyclopedia using statistical analysis and visually import reporting on it. This way you can visually indicate with color or with icon the model artifacts as identified by the analytics. Analytics can be either a Microsoft VBA macro or report-based macros, reporting on matrix, properties, and or relationships. For more information on analytics, please refer to the help files using System Architect Analytics. There are several analytic examples provided in Rational System Architect, all of which are explained in the help files. When starting to work with analytics, you should be aware that there are three different definition types specific to analytics. These are the analytic, which controls the invocation of the VBA macro or analytic report, the analytic report, which is either a report-based analytic or a VBA macro. Only report-based analytics are listed in the Explorer browser view. VBA analytic reports can be found in the Rational System Architect main directory. It is also worth mentioning that VBA analytic reports are a very powerful way to query the information in the repository. VBA analytic reports can be highly complex, parameterized, and offer options as to the color and or the specific image and its location around the border of the symbol. The third definition type is the analytic collection, which makes it possible to create a list of associated analytic definitions and run the ones you need. The analytic collection can also be associated with a type of diagram. The short example that will follow will demonstrate creating and running report-based analytic. The analytic will graphically identify BPMN processes that use applications that have an in-service state prior to 12-30-2010, for example. An in-service state is a property in an application that represents a date up to when in a particular application is in service, for example, when your license for that application expires. You will create an analytic report associated with an analytic definition and run the analytic by drag and drop. Then we will make the analytic part of an analytic collection and run it again via the heat map manager. Let's start off by understanding which applications are used by which BPMN processes. This will help us when we test our analytic. To check which applications are used by which BPMN processes, we will use the Matrix Browser. Specifically, the Business Process BPMN to Application Matrix. With the default options, So, here we see three applications, two of which are directly related to the BPMN processes. Let's assume that application credit card booking has an in-service date of 11-30-2010, which is earlier to the date of 12-30-2010 that we will be checking for. For the purpose of this example, we will actually open the definition credit card booking and set that date. This will be our next step.
We have now taken care of logistics. We know that our model has at least one application to report on, and this application is used by several BPMN processes. We will proceed by defining an analytic report named BPMN processes affected by application in service date. The analytic report should report on all definitions of type BPMN process that use a definition of type application with a value for the in-service date property of 12-30-2010 or earlier. Our next step will be to create a new analytic definition named BPMN affected by application end. We will associate this analytic definition with our analytic report. We give our analytic a name and description. We specify that this is a report-based analytic type and not VBA, and associate the analytic report with our analytic. Our analytic will use a depiction of a red traffic light to highlight the BPMN processes according to our analytic report. Again, we are looking for the processes that use an application which has an in-service date less than or equal to 12-30-2010. We created an analytic report and associated it with an analytic. We are now ready to use the analytic on a diagram. Which diagram should we test the analytic against? We see from our metrics that BPMN process check credit detail uses the application credit card booking. Let's open a diagram that uses that BPMN process. The advanced search feature will help us identify a diagram. Drag and drop the analytic on the diagram to view the results from the main menu select View Show Analytic Depiction and here we have the traffic lights. Note that not all processes are affected by the analytic since those processes do not use the application that is causing the problems. Let's zoom in and have a closer look. Close the diagram without saving it, and let's try to run this analytic report via the heat map manager. The next step we have to do is to associate our analytic with an analytic collection. Name the analytic collection BPMN Process Dangers. Associate the analytic with a collection. Associate the analytic collection to a diagram type or more.
Find the diagram we used earlier, and this time run the analytic via the heat map manager. Start the heat map manager from the main menu, view heat map manager. The heat map manager will display the analytic collections associated with this type of diagram and the reports. Select the analytic report we want to run by checking on it. Apply the selected analytics and zoom into the diagram to see the results. Notice that the heat map manager ran the analytic but also placed a legend on the diagram. The heat map manager will display the analytic collections associated with the diagram that is open. The heat map manager has some other useful features, such as a log reporting on what actions were taken. Also, the analytic builder, which is a simple query builder driven off the heat map manager. The queries created by the analytic builder are based on property testing of the model artifact. Results are displayed in color or by icon. In summary, analytics allow you to use statistical analysis on your enterprise architecture model and graphically depict the results with the purpose of answering some key questions, such as what processes are identified as high risk, if any, planning an update, which processes will be worked on first. Graphical representation of such information can help you analyze and plan for change.